here we go. It's not every day a student receives a celebrated send-off, but it sure happened on Thursday, August 29th. William Christman's varsity football team and cheerleaders lined the hall to warmly surprise junior Javen Cruz. It was all orchestrated by the school and Make-A-Wish Foundation. I was in class. Um, they announced uh, all football players and cheerleaders come down to the atrium. And then I guess, I don't know if they would need me, so I got out. Um, and then asked Miss Early, one of the counselors, if they needed me, and she said, no, you can sit in here. And then maybe about 10 minutes later, Coach Perry walked in, said, here, put this on. Um, and then I see all the football players and cheerleaders lined up. Javen was gifted a check from the Make-A-Wish Foundation for a shopping spree. Yeah, I felt like a good rush of adrenaline, you could say that. Overwhelmed, happy, um, yeah, that's it. Javen suffered a cardiac arrest back in middle school. Okay. The school resource officer and nurse helped revive him and both participated in the Make-A-Wish surprise. <laughs> Um, those two out of three were a part of saving my life back at Pioneer Ridge. So I was working as a school resource officer at Pioneer Ridge and got a call to go to a classroom and they needed immediate medical assistance is what the call was. So I rushed to the classroom along with the nurse and realized that Javen was on the ground, face first, had fallen, and, um come to realize that he was unconscious, not breathing. And so a teacher had run to get the AED machine and brought it back. That teacher, uh, Mr. Lathram, brought the AED machine back as myself and the nurse were kind of working with Javen, trying to bring him back to life pretty much because he had gone unconscious and had no pulse at the time. I don't remember him having a pulse um, that I could feel, and I think the nurse did. However, she was doing CPR, and so I was kind of helping her count and get through that. So what was going on in my head was, I want to save this kid. Or I've done some research now. I know that it's a very rare disease. Um, and I mean, to call it a disease, I don't know. You know, it's something that somebody kind of gets stuck with. and. To have to live with something like that, I can't imagine the pain that he's going through. But I do, um, I do feel for him. You know, um, I can't imagine having that myself and uh, being a parent of someone you know that is going through what Javen's going through it would probably be very difficult. So, actually, um, brought some light into my life because I've been depressed a bit for the past few years. After the ceremony, Javen and his family were picked up in a limo and taken out to eat and shop. Um, I got a new phone, a new TV, laptop, uh, Apple Watch, and a new pair of headphones too. It was great. We went to Texas Roadhouse after shopping, but we kind of had to leave early because of my brothers. <laughs> No, they were, yeah. no, they were acting up, like jumping all over the place, basically. With Vanessa Montez, this is Katie Turner, reporting for the Independent Network.